Brace, brace, brace. Oh, cow pie. Oh, I did it. Okay, let's take off again. Well, we made it to sunny Florida. Towed the toy hauler down for the first maiden voyage. And right now we're in Denellen, Florida, which happens to be somewhat close to my sister. I brought Big Bertha down the tandem trike mobile. So I figured I'd offer my sister a tandem flight. She said yes, and that's what we're doing tonight. Except Big Bertha is in several different pieces for transport. So I have to go assemble her right now. a damn transformer, Bertha is ready for action. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably already know some of this, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of background. Growing up, I was always into aviation and one of the biggest influences on that was my mother. She was a commercial hot air balloon pilot pretty much all my life and I used to go flying with her as early as maybe two years old. My sister, on the other hand, was never really that interested in the flying aspect of it. As much as I was interested and passionate about aviation, my sister was always interested and passionate about horses. And as much as I had zero interest in horses, my sister pretty much had zero interest in flying. So I was a little bit surprised when I asked her if she wanted to go flying with me that she actually said yes. She's willing to give it a shot, but she's been kind of, you know, alluding to the fact that, you know, just a quick flight, maybe stay down low, that'll do it. But I'm hoping she loves it, and I'm hoping we can go on a little adventure together on the tandem trike mobile. What's going on? Not so much. Are you excited? Yeah. You look excited. Oh, a little bit nervous, but excited. What are your thoughts on flying in general? It's useful to get from point A to point B. That's true. <laughs> uh, how about janky looking paramotors? With a bunch of strings. Well, I flew a two-seater airplane with you, so... Uh, yeah, that's true. To do this we one. did do that one yeah. time. So our plan is to take off that way, and then turn that way, and then go over there and do some things. And avoid go for hole over there. Yeah, don't hit that hole, don't hit that plane, and uh, make a safe return before sunset. Good plan. Ready? All right, three, two, one, blast off. Descent technique. Hey. <laughs> How's that feel? Weird? Yeah, it makes my stomach jump. <laughs> There's a really cute little baby cow over there. Do -do 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 -do. Mike is hot on our six. He's a pesky rascal. Can you imagine we hit a bird? Let's not. That would probably hit me first. Yeah, that's the great part of having a passenger. They break the wind and they get hit by stuff first. Over the tree. <laughs> and down the other side of the tree. wing. Got to make sure we have clearance to fit through any gaps. That's our wing. Okay. <laughs> you grabbed the bar. I thought you did that. <laughs> nope. I thought you robbed us. All right, see if you can reach these. I can put my fingers on top of your hands too for the first bin. And then let's make a left turn because Mike is on so our I'm gonna right. So pull left. Look yep. left. Bring your right hand up and just pull down left. Oh, I gotta pull pretty hard. Yep. 
Yeah, for a good turn rate, you have to put a little bit of muscle in it, on this wing at least. And then when you come out of it, you just, there's our wake, so we'll wait a second, and then just ease out of it, like that. And then you're back to normal. It's kind of similar to a horse. I mean, you want to feel on the reins a little bit, but give and take. I see what you mean. Let's go left a little bit and point us at the sun. And I'll try to get us a selfie with the good lighting. I'm just clicking away. Yeah, Does this scare you? It. Yes, very much. <laughs> What do you think of flying? How are the controls? I think it would get very tiring after a while. You have to keep some weight on it. Oh, is that a coyote? Off to our left. I'm going to fly oh, towards yeah, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Oh, but there's another one. I'm Where? looking at one straight oh, ahead. Oh, yeah. You can hurt them. People generally hate coyotes, right? Oh, yeah. They shoot them. The coyotes will eat the baby cows. Will they eat people if we crash land? Probably not. I hope not. I don't see any problem with uh, doing a touch and go on the tire tracks, do you? Sounds good to me. And brace, brace, oh, wow. brace. And now we're just a little go-kart driving down. Oh, cow pie. <laughs> I hope that didn't stain. Oh, there's another one. That I'm going like to try to bridge it between our tires. Oh, I did it! <laughs> okay, let's take off again. yippee ki -yay! So I guess we'll just kind of follow Micah and make a left-hand turn and land back where we took off. Surprise post-flight interview, what were your thoughts? It was awesome! Would you do it again? Yes, I would do it again would if you, I had the opportunity. Would you buy one and fly one? No. Oh, I understand. No. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a, it was a cool experience, but... Favorite I'm moment. I'm not a pilot. It's a toss-up between the baby cows and the coyote. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> I kind of like the coyote. Roger. Oh, sweet. Thanks for flying. Woo. Thanks Risky for the ride, Brisky. Airlines. Yeah. I need to start bringing peanuts and drinks. And yeah. yeah. I do have a barf bag. I'm gonna have that to would be it useful out. for you because you're kind of like downwind, so the barf yeah, bag so would I don't be get a good thing. It. Yeah. I like it. All right, so it's the next day. Tandems with my sister and her husband, Robert, went fantastic. I've got the toy hauler almost ready to pull out of here, and we're gonna head to the second location, which is Lake Wales, Florida, home of Aviator Paramotor. So I wanted to show you guys some toy hauler stuff and kind of the journey from here to Lake Wales. So this is the setup for travel, basically. I've got Bertha and the Scout Mobile hooked up over there. And I've got my motorcycle mobile hooked up right there. I've got the espresso machine in the sink where I just made two espressos. In here, we've got the bedroom and in here, we've got the bathroom. All right, so we are inbound for Lake Wales, about 30 minutes away. Uh, first, I just heard the other day, I ordered a Triox 38, which is a tandem wing. I've been borrowing the Magnum 3 from Aviator that I just flew my sister on, but my forever tandem wing is gonna be this new Triox, and it just arrived in Lake Wales, so I'm gonna hopefully do an unboxing, first impressions, I'll have to find another tandem passenger to fly around. And then another thing I'm looking to film is a very special engine. If you guys know, I fly the Vitarazzi Moster 185, but they have a factory version, which is like a tuned up, higher quality parts. It's better in pretty much every way than the standard Moster. I have one of those at Lake Wales as well that I'm, I'm gonna be swapping on my Scout. It'll be something different. It hopefully will give me more performance in every aspect, and it'll look cool, if anything else. So 
So uh, we made it to our destination, and I have a little confession. On the way over here, uh, I stopped at a gas station, and I got kind of jammed in a situation where there were low trees, and I had to back out of it, and I knew I scraped a tree. Turns out I come up on the roof here, and I sheared off one of the vents. These little dudes, yeah. See, that came right off. I don't think there's any other damage, and uh, there's RV stores all over Florida, so I'm gonna try to go get one of these and get her fixed up before nighttime. All right, crisis averted. 10 minute drive down the street. There's a huge RV emporium, and they had a $25 replacement roof cover compatible with my model. I got the new roof vent installed. Pretty easy, not gonna have rain showering in on me if it happens to rain down here. But I'm gonna end this one here. If you do wanna support this channel, check out our Risky Biscuits Co merch down in the description. Lots of cool shirts going on there. We've got new colorways too, check those out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode. Till then, peace. Zip.